Kid, I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott oh. is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am. Oh. What the f- What is good YouTube, it is your boy LSG Melly, and I'm bringing you guys Life is Strange. I do know that there is a new Life is Strange that came out, Life is Strange Double, Double, Double Pen. All right, excuse me, that was very vulgar of me. Life is Strange Double Exposure, that is the new Life is Strange that has come out. But before I get into that, I want to relive the older Life is Stranges. I've never played them. Only one that I've played is True Colors, and I don't remember that whatsoever. So I'm just going to relive these games, and then when we work up to the double exposure, we'll play that. Now, without further ado, we're about to hop into this thing. If you guys are liking the content, please like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on. I really appreciate that. Really don't have nothing too crazy for this intro, so we're about to just hop in. Stay tuned, y'all. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choices. The consequences of all your game's actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. All right. They let me know off rip. If I make any mistakes, I will pay for it. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Any, are you okay? Any, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. We need subtitles. I think. Guess as good as mine. Uh, Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Don't know your name yet. I hope. Please let me make it there. All right, lighthouse. We can sprint. Wait, can we? Oh, she walks faster with R2. This is a thumbnail, y'all. Yeah, we got it. All right. Where is the... What the hell? Why did she just do a 360 double wide no scope? Holy shit. Ma'am, did you create that? You talking about some holy shit? Isn't the show Stranger Things based on this? Whoa. That was so surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you uh, give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. You show it to him by just showing him. Um, Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces, 
You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October, my favorite month, the best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change colors, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate, let me Kate, let me borrow the October Country Bar Brad. Bury, Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of the old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or Vortex Club. Vortex Club Stroke Fest, pause, swimming party, or is that Backstroke Fest? Pause, uh, you so puny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Black Blackwell Academy, as my parents love telling me on a loop. You have all the time in the world. I hate when older people tell you you have all the time in the world. No, you don't because like no offense to all the adults that I know, but with that, my like the adults that told me that aren't rich. Most of them aren't doing anything with their lives. So don't tell me that I have all the time in the world because I don't. All right. I don't care how young you think I am. I don't. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Pencil case. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any I one can't of you believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Take a Isn't selfie. Too easy? In class. Too obvious? Because I'm a badass. What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height? Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Am I in detention? Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of Nerd. art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits. I did know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was fuck? a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> The Daguerrean process brought out. Oh, we have our mean faces, girl, I guess. Making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can Sorry, find Max. No more selfies right now. Or Bro, take another one. Online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Why do you want me to notice you so bad? Like, are, are you into me? You're a grown-ass man, dog. Choose your words. Don't waste a second kissing ass. Etch marks. I'm taking a picture of everything. Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber's love. For what? Macro eyes. Take optional photo number one. Copy. I just really think everyday heroes is an important cultural event. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Are you are you high? What the hell is wrong with your eyes? You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. 
I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Look. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That Raven from Teen Titans, bro. What am I even talking about? I'm leaving. Fuck all y'all, bro. Why? I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Or I still leave and you'd be mad about it. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. All right. I'm going to leave now. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of her. Because Max wants everybody to see how good she is. And she plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Square inks. She's so fucking shy. She took selfies with a giant tank. Did she put in headphones? Please don't let me get copyrighted. I'm going to turn the music off. I'm not getting copyrighted. I'm sorry if anybody wanted to listen to those to the music, but I have been getting copyrighted on a lot of games that I have been playing. Life is strange, Alyssa. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Oh, he's trying to get some cheeks. Who are you? Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Open. This is my locker? I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Yeah, I'm not... Li I'm not... Nah. That's... Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. What about Dana? Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. Yeah. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Daniel getting bullied over here. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I wish October would last forever. It's crazy. Hello. Oh, I have stick drift in my controller. That's why she's doing a 360 no scope. Hold on, y'all. All right, let's do it. It looks like she's been gone for months. All right. Uh, to be in high school again. Do I miss it? Kind of. But I can do without it. I miss middle school. Middle school was way better for me. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Bruh, I don't care about any of these people. I want to leave. She wanted to go to the bathroom, right? All right, we here. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> oh, nah, Illuminati, not it, not it. Now, who would bother to write that crap? What'd that say? Rat, uh, Rat Club Esmer is a bitch. I don't, I, I don't know. 
Somebody got beef. This poster must drive people to have sex. Kate twerks for God. Abstinence makes the heart grow fonder. Do I? Ooh. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. You wanted to come in here for what? Whatever. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's wash our face. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Why didn't she show the teacher that, bro? That's a fire flick. Fuck it. She ripped it. What's what's wrong with this girl, bro? That was a good flick. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. When one door closes, okay, another bro, one opens. You don't get a photo op like this every day. So we about to take the flick. But first, let me take a selfie. Let me guess the butterfly not even in the picture. It's a cursed butterfly. Why are you in the men's bath? I mean, woman's bathroom. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Is this an all genders bathroom? You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? Whoa. I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott oh. is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am. Oh. What the f fuck? I'm turning subtitles off. You're messing around with. You Whoa. That? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Whoa. Ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh! Thumbnail. Whoa. What the fuck? How? I'm back How in class. I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Oh, I broke my camera. Your Rwan okay, Tom again. I'm crazy. I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? What the hell am I doing? Yo. I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. How the hell did I do that? Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Diane freak out. Arvis. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. All right, let's take the selfie if then. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, uh -huh. a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. 
And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. Oh. It's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl selfie. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Scopy, uh... I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now bro. Totally stuck in the retro this zone. fake ass knee Second. along, bro. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again? And give them the this icon answer. means you learned the useful faces, fact that you may them extremely be able to use it for real. Alright. All right. I will re re rewind it faster. Well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um. It's uh. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre yeah. in 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Yeah. Nice work, Max. <sighs> Look at this bitch. Made Look at this corny popular, ass. Mainly because of short the hair ass. Yeah, you you you'd, you'd think she didn't cut her hair that short. Her hair is that short because she's fucking mean. Mean people, I heard your hair don't grow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a roll tonight, bro. You can learn more when you can I leave now? reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. All right. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. Blah, 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 blah. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max. You are not crazy. You are not dreaming. Show him the picture so you can. I didn't mean to do that. Yes, Victoria. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Bro, shut up. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Just hand him something. I'm not avoiding, just. Biding time, waiting for the elusive right moment. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that oh life my... is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Stop talking to me. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Wait, what? Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse Bro, us. Oh, what the fuck is the- I'd never let the... one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. All right. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. Okay, cool. I have faith in you. All right, leave me alone. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. All right, let me get out. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. All right, come on. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. We're just going to dip. All right, let's go. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. 
Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come this on, put that hammer. thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, sir. So I need a hammer to break it open. Control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble Bro. for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? All right. Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time no, again, no, no, I can no. help her. All right, let's do it. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so Come sick on. of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way. Don't oh. ever touch me again, freak. Yeah. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Because I'm like that. Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? What? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah. Go do your job, security. I'm, I can't even make fun of him. I'm security too. I'm not talking to him, bro. Hold on, Max. Come back here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Why are you... Why are you... Why are you pressing up on me? Bro, snitch! I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. There's no cameras here? So what happened next? Where the cameras at? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't this do icon means the the press will have consequences. Owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Uh, you won't be able to undo your choices leaving this area. All right. Whoa. All right, let's try it again. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Wait, no, skip this. I had the truth. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. 
It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now you don't get e outside with the class. You don't even know if I did anything. Please. You're just talking shit. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Nah, 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 nah. You know what? Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him. Yeah, the truth. I'm. I'm just gonna rewind it again. I'm just gonna stay with the. He he shot him, dude. Yeah, I'm staying. I'm staying with the story. Staying with the story, bro. Yep. A nice campus. With Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Can I flip a coin? This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Who? All right. Sorry, I'm running late. Meet you. I'll meet you in the room. Do you want to meet me for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study. Please make sure you check out Nurkromanic. What? Hey, Mad Max. Let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test. So if we bust anything. We have to to measure it velocity. Measure its velocity. Cornball ass, bro. Don't ignore this message. Hi, Max. Can you get my flash drop? I need some info in space. Hello? Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in a lot. Looking looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. Hope so. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Where? Alright, dormitories. This way. I'm not reading no more journals, bro. Dormitories. All right. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. All right, dormitories this way. That girl that's always texting again. Yo, Victor, yo, what the fuck? Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. No. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, why don't you just I walk around me like that? I guess you have to find like way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Then I'll step oh, over you then. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before yeah. I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Oh, hell yeah. What we about, what we about to do? What we about to do? No. Yeah. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's go do it. All right, yeah, let's do it. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. All right. 
Bye. No. Do you understand English? Get lost. Why are you still here? None shall pass. Capiche? Oh yeah, it's about to be lit. Alright, let's rewind it. Alright. Tampa. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. All right. Oh, that's as far as I can go back. Tamper. Just... Yes, sir. Okay, Yay. let's see if this works. Nice. All right, let's crank it up. Crank it, crank it. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah. yeah. Water on my cashmere. Do you know? Shut up. Sweet. No. No way. No. 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 You okay, Victoria? Oh, Sam, you're <laughs> Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Look at these towels. We'll be right back. So yeah. Move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah, bitch. What you gotta say? Let's. let's what you gotta say? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Make fun of her. Fuck out of here. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Oh, yeah. And no filter needed. Before yeah. Pose Let's go. Now, please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that. I know where you live. Shut so does Nathan. Dude. Shut the fuck up. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. No. No regrets. No regrets, bro. Where's my room at? Hurry, Courtney. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Man. This is my room? Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Where's my room at? Oh, here we go. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Yes, sir. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. What did I come in here Idiot. for? Am I taking a nap? Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some t tall tales about a black world artist student. Is this true? The principal said that this was a false a serious false charge and that he is worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this, mom. Lie down. Did I come in here to lay down? Is that what I really... Wasn't I supposed to meet somebody? I look so pathetic. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Camera point? What the hell? Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Bro, I'm, did I come in here to rest? I think I'm, I'm gonna lay down, bro. Instant film. Yeah, we're gonna lay down. Get that rest. Hmm. Oh, 
It feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Inception. All right, get up. What did I come in here for? Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Um, what album? Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. I film. Oh, Max and Chloe. All right. I need to grab the flash drive on my desk before I see Warren. That's what I came in here for. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I'll borrow your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Dana. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Whoa. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. Um. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. Oh. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Dana, uh, Juliet Patson. Juliet Pats. Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. All right, thank you. All right, we're gonna try this again. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yeah. All right. Um, Juliet Watson. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. You are ridiculous. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you um, me out, I will how do you know? How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. The hating bitch? She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Um, alright. Um. She's your friend. You Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You, you never talk. Out, Just I zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? All right, Juliet Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Why she? Why of she? Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. Why well, she was a little turned on so by that, how though. how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? 
Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. All right, so how am I supposed to get through this? Let's try it again. All right. Victoria's room. Wait, hold on. Let's rewind it first. All right. Uh, tablet. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Camera. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. All right. Gotta find some, uh, what's the laptop? That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. So sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Donna Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sex from Dana and Zach's phone. Dumbass believe me, so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Oh yeah. Print, print, print. Oh yeah, we lit with it. We lit with it. Uh, missing, no. Yeah, grab, grab. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. All right, we out. All right, let's go. Yes, sir. Yo, this shit is like an episode of baddies, bro. Hey, Juliet, is everything? All right. Oh yes, Max. I've locked. Um. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. I go. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in. Um. How do you know? How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You c According to Victoria. According to Victoria. Huh. She saw the sext. Max. Show the email. Juliet, read this. Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Of course. All right, let her out. Thank you. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. Okay. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. That's a deal. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my That desk. is a college girl's version of a truce, I guess. Whatever the fuck. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Yo, tell me where it's at. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm mm. in it and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are oh. you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. All right, where, where, where? It would be a cool sticker without the words. Flash drive, flash drive, thank you. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. 
Oh, nah. I'm out of here. All right. To the salon. Wait. My camera will be ready. Oh, so I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count on. I can count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take on my way by. Oh, nah. He's a feminine. Why the hell did he say that? Bye. Why you did? <laughs> ah. Is that him right here? Fuck this shit. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Damn. I better rewind. What did he do? Alright. Fuck this shit. Ow, that hurt. Oh. Hold on. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Oh, I'm lit. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. This action will have consequence. How? Hi, whore. Hope you enjoyed the pick. It is the last one. All right, I guess. All right, let's talk to this fucker. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Wait, where am I supposed to be going now? Where am I supposed to be going now? Hold on. Where's my email? Uh. A lot. Going on a stroll, going on a stroll. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a photo. Yeah, just keep, keep it calm. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. We got a photo. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. I feel bad. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. All right. I could rewind and try something different. All right. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying. Them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Okay. Hello, oh, Max, out. that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, <clears throat> Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate. But blah 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 blah. I'm glad I stepped in that time. 
Can't stand to see people being bullied. Missing person post the same girl. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. Do I don't get it. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? What the fuck? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Um, I won't bother you. I'm gonna leave you alone, bro. I won't bother you then. I have to go see Warren before he melts. See you. Yeah, I'm sure we'll all be partying later with Zach and Victoria and the Vortex Club. Uh, yeah. Sure. See you around, Max. Not I. Yo, are you the Come dude? Over here. Please. Okay. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Oh. Check out my new wheels. You couldn't oh, give him a hug? Very old school. You obviously like the dude. Exact. Now we can go to the drive in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. Um. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Yeah. Oh, score one for Team Max. It will be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Um movie booty what the fuck no no i've been way too busy with class and life damn girl you had it like a year or a week i did browse through all the titles drama queen ha ha make sure you watch cannibal holocaust um no no fucking way will i watch that my mind is twisted enough i laughed my ass off so you're sensitive Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Faster pussycat kill kill. <laughs> no, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. They're totally hitting it off. Down. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. Cruising down the street in my distracted. six foe. Jacking the bitches, slapping the hoes. <laughs> uh, I don't want to speak about it. Yeah. I need to talk to somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? Whoa. I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Okay, I told him the truth. Answer me, bitch. Uh, oh, oh. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. Yo, Warren. You should. Warren, I'm not going to lie, bro. If you want some cheeks, step in right now, or you're not getting anything. You about to be in the desert forever, nigga. Like, hurry up. Talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Coffee. Take a step back. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Yay. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Yay. <laughs> How even when you step in, you are still a bitch, bro. Like, are we good? Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. 
Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait in the bathroom! <gasps> oh, yeah! Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go, go, yeah! Oh! Ben, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Look at the security. I bet you he ain't even do nothing to homeboy. And he Man, over there being a crash out. Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Uh... Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the you only one in debt. And you, you owe him some kitten meow. You're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Uh, only for... Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do teach. I'm glad you. I mean, that's what she's into—that photography stuff. Don't you stuff. think I'm happy to see you? No, you were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Damn. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh please! I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first Damn. and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Nah, Max, you a bad friend, bro. Cereal? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Yo, this is so random. But why in England do people say you're taking a piss, but you're not actually taking a piss? You're like fucking you're you just trolling or something, I guess. Or what? How did that come about? What the what? What did that Wanted even mean, dog? The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Home shit home is crazy. I'm about to start using that. I like that. Whoa, what's, what's going on? Oh. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Mmm. Can I hit that? Can I hit that? So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown up? I don't feel grown up. Party all night? Party yeah. all night. Not little Miss Wallflower. 
I bet you've never even been to a party. Oh, right. I went to your birthday blowout. Max, you were 12 years old. That's sad. You should stick to taking photos. <laughs> Bro, fuck all that. Can I get a... Can I get a... Uh, a... Uh, can I get a hit? Can I hit that? She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. Nah. Is this a desk or a storage space? Why do you have all the missing posters? So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Why are you reading all her shit? It's here, Max. Look a little harder. What am I looking for again? I completely don't know. Look at all the vapor in the air. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Cigarettes? A pack of smokes. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Anarchy. Yo, people with them anarchy logos, they think they're so hard ass. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Yo, what am I looking for? We had such a blast drawing these together. She's a killer. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Our strip. We about to vibe out. Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. I'm looking for music. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. Music, music, music make you lose control. Music make you lose control. Yeah. Who is this girl? Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. Oh, shit. That was a girlfriend. Chloe likes tacos now. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So Rachel took my place. I never forgot. Now, don't be jealous about it. I never forgot, even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were going to kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. So what happened? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know? How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? 
Something oh. happened to her. I oh, believe you. You You're being petty? I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? I, w I won't be able to hear it. But sure. She's stoned. She's stoned in there, her feelings now. Let's put the music on. I'm not getting copyrighted. I'm so sorry, y'all. Yo, free thug, bro. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. All right, so am I leaving? Let's explore. Light. Wait. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. Flocetine? What the hell? I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. Why do I look like Krishan Rock? Alright. Uh This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. Alright, switch off. Am I leaving now? Yo, get out your feelings, bro. My step ass bro. keeps tools down in the garage. I bet you can find something to fix your camera. Oh, that's what I'm doing. See, good thing I came back in here to talk to her depressed ass. I mean, the depression is not something to joke about. I've been depressed before. So I, I can honestly make a joke about it. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Well, Kate. All right. Hey, Max, you around? Always. You okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem. That guy's an asshole. Okay. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I should be able to find the tools I need here. All right. Tools, 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 tools. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school. That's her what dad. You get. Oh, this fuck boy. Oh, he's not going to like me when he come home. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell. You've got to be shitting me. <sighs> Crazy. Gun rack. Ooh. If I need to take the Smith the Weston. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. All right? TV. TV for me. Turning on the TV the will have consequences. Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms. Whoa. This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? I don't think they do. Chloe room? Let me see. Is there one in Chloe room? Good morning, USA. Nah, this is some sick shit, bro. All right, close that. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. All right. Yo, close it.
Yo, that is insane. This dude is nasty with it. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. A nice password would be cool though. Corn beef, right? I'm being mad nosy right Shit. now. Butterfingers. Nope. Wait. Oh. What's the picture though? Kate Marsh. Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Ooh. All right, rewind that though. But no, rewind it, dude. All right. All right, we not looking at that. So he has pictures of Kate. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Nah, this game is juicy with it. Cool. Now it's open. All right. I need tools though, dog. Search. Nothing. This is so lame. Or Chloe's stepdad is head of security all right, at Blackwell. All right, all right, all right, all right, he all right. wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school. Switch this off. How paranoid can you get? Look. Boom. Precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Turn it on. Vibrated down. Yes, sir. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Let's see. The tools are stuck out of reach and no way in hell to get them all right brilliant max brilliant wait uh push yeah all right now let's turn it on Let's get it on. All right, turn off. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. Her powers are fire, dog. Yes, you have being able to rewind time. That's dope. All right, I've let's got work. The tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Why would she freak? She's stoned, bro. She don't care about me. Burning it down. This girl is on fire. Is she? She not. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Ugh. I'm so sleepy, y'all. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Nah. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. Whoa. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there. Just tell her the truth, bro. That's your best friend, right? I was there, hiding in the corner. 
Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Nah. Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Uh, not really. I was freaking out. I could only hear Nathan ranting. So then you did hear us. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Uh... Yes. Keep it a book. Absolutely. Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. That was scary. Who did you tell? The fucking principal. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool Ooh. you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's She's dance. Stoned, Shake that yo. bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely about to flick this. This day couldn't get any stranger. Stranger things or life is strange. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Fuck it, let's do it. Yes, break it down, Max. Chloe, are you up there? Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on! Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just... Let me in now. Oh, please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. Bed. Bed. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? One, two, three. Shit. No. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking! She's not a stranger! This is my friend! Great. Another one of your friends. No, I'm about to rewind this shit. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait! Is that grass? <coughs> you been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. 
Missy, you sure do like to pop up. Can I please coming. rewind? Like this afternoon. Look at his hair. You know what the fuck is going on with his Dude, head? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Ooh. Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Hold on. I'm rewinding. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Black Bull scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. All right. I have to think about my own future. Let's do it. Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. All right. This is going I'm nowhere changing. fast. I better look and hide a joint, but not the smell. Now, Forget it. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. Bro. Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. Bro. Around, this is going nowhere fast. I better look someplace else. I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. One, two, three. Uh, Shit. All right. Nope, nope, nope. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Mac? No, sir. I'm getting dizzy. I can't rewind anymore. I'm coming. Doing? All right. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get hey. sore. Just let me in now. Please. Let's get One it. Second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Stay hidden. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey! Leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. You just smacked the fuck up. They just smacked the shutter. I'm sorry. I care about your mother, and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time, or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe. Someday you'll grow up. Wow, you smacked the fuck out of her, bro. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? Uh, what uh, What if you had stepped in to help? That has nothing to do with me. Fuck out of here with that. She the one that told me to hide. So, uh, yeah.
I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Hmm. All right, things are taking a turn. Things are taking a turn. Warren. By Earth to Max, your white knight Warren here. I know you were worried about me. It's crazy because after she after he said bye, she didn't say shit to him. Crazy. I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call back later, okay? I swear. No problem. And you still have to tell me your big secret. Kick it. I guess that's what that meant. Kick it. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Whoa. Campfire graffiti. Oh, so this is Chloe's spot. You sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. Are you pissed at- What the fuck are you mad at me for? Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry. You to told me firsthand. to hide. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on Kate. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Uh... Well, yeah, I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Oh, the photo, photo of Kate. Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? Tell there her. There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? Whoa. I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. What about Nathan? So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Oh. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Nah. I am so furious, I can't even speak. <clears throat> what did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. Let's call the police. Man, what the fuck are they gonna do? He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny.
If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Uh, she's she's having a crisis right now. Storm like this in Oregon. I following this deer. Straight for the town. Dummy. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something... hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had this same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane <laughs> fucking get, day. Get high? That's your solution, bro? Why the fuck is it snowing what now? What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Yeah, everybody see it. It's walling outside.
Damn, she's tweaking out in her room. They must be playing some music because I don't hear nothing going on right now. Dude's getting high, high, high. Yeah, even her evil ass can see it. Rachel. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, that was insane. All right, let's check our stuff. You reported Nathan. 65% of people did that. You made fun of Victoria. 34% of people did that. I don't know why why you are so scared to do that. Um you intervened to help out Kate. Yes. You stayed hidden. 35% of people did that. That's the highest choice. We all are smart. Yes, sir. Friend stats. My friends, I don't think my, I guess my friends didn't play this. Whoa, out of time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. That was a dope episode. I had a good time. I never thought I never played this. Like I said, my first Life is Strange game was True Colors. And like I said, I don't even remember much of that. I, that's just something that I played just because I was probably stoned, but I don't remember it. So yeah, y'all, that's crazy. But without further ado, I'm out. See you guys in my next video. Peace.